The reason is because we are pluralist. We have got many plural ways of being spiritual. So different traditions, whether you are Shaiva tradition, uh, you know, uh, Shakta tradition, Vaishnava tradition, different sectarian movements will have their own particular method. Now, am I here to kind of point out, oh, don't do this, you can't do this. This is their way of kind of using their temple facilities for the betterment of their own community. I'm not here to you know, point a finger, so don't do this, do this. It is their way of doing things. You know, for example, in the Swami Narayan movement, they split the men and women. You say, oh, it's horrible. It's not horrible. This is the way they want to say. They say, in the temple atmosphere, we don't want this idea of gender attraction to be visible at all. So this is fair enough. This is their way of doing it. So be it. In some other places, uh, you know, you'll see them kind of mixed together. In some places, they say, no, we allow this variation. Not that one is better. The variation in a way reflects the different, various different sectarian or the cultural background that we possess. You may, you may be in South India, Tamil tradition, you may be placed where they say, oh, women should not enter the temple at all. You know, you heard this big hoo-ha about it. So, don't allow them to practice. This is their own private enclave and they want to practice their tradition in, in a particular method that kind of suited the temple requirement for us over thousands of years. Don't undermine it. Let it be. If you are so keen to practice spirituality, you can do it in sitting in your bed, you know, cross-legged and become spiritual. <laughs>